Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Petey Prowlock. I'm finally back on YouTube after quite a few weeks ago. The last video was the England going out against Iceland in Euro 2016. But I'm finally back because since Newcastle are in the championship, we kick off a week early than the Premier League and tomorrow is where it starts. The journey back to the Premier League, hopefully. So yeah, this video I'm gonna do is talking about how we how we could go how we're gonna go into this game against Fulham. The players we've brought in, who has left us, what changes are now have now been made at the football club, for example, the Rafael Benitez in charge of the transfers and all that now. So yeah, let's kick it off. On the start so we're up against Fulham tomorrow at Craven Cottage because take and the thing is Fulham have been struggling lately since they got relegated from the Premier League and have been somewhere towards near the bottom the good thing about this they have sold Ross McCormack I know they've still got Scotty Parga but he's getting a bit old now but let's see but Fulham a lot of people think one of them at least Fulham I think are gonna pretty struggle if they've sold like um, McCormack to Villa and apparently that Moussa Dembele is gone who played for them as well so but the thing is how I see us going to this game yes the players were brought in and also the new captain as well who has deserved it as well the new number nine <clears throat> so we give Jamal Lascelles the captain's armband who had a great towards the end of the season I thought and I thought this lad could be future captain in in the future he got it well done to the lad less for Jamal Lascelles fantastic lad yeah and new number nine in Dwight Gale as well who can give you goals he did that for Palace I've seen I thought Mitrovic would have got the number nine but Mitrovic actually told Gale to take it on fair play to the lad for doing that I think Mitrovic would have been the better option for the number nine well I have brought players like Matt Ritchie who looks at a really good winger at least wow though I've seen him he looks like he's done really well in pre-season <clears throat> um, We've brought in Diarmi from Hull, who looks a good one. He scored the, the playoff final last season. I thought he, thought he could have stayed in the Premier League, but decided to drop a level, to drop down a level to play for Newcastle. Well done, the lad. So we have tried to strengthen the midfield a bit for more. He will guarantee us quality in the championship. Um, <clears throat> we've been buying quite a few defenders as well, which are very surprised as well we've bought Asus Gamas we've bought Isaac Hayden who can play midfield as well we've bought Kieran Clark from Villa a lot of people aren't sure about this one think he's not that good or was he just playing for a shake club in Aston Villa at that time Grant Hanley who looks a decent defender for a young lad as well so yeah Hopefully, really looking forward to the thing. I'm glad we've been out spending a lot more new defenders at least, because we have been able to get injuries at the back, and it has cost for a lot of the time. So hopefully, a lot of most of those defenders will give us back up. Well, I expect Lascelles to be one of the main starting. The other one would it be still Mbemba, who's still at the club, or could it be one of our new boys? We'll have to see. Well, what do you think? Who do you think is going to partner Lascelles in the in the central defence right alongside him? Well, I've got rid of in the defence. We did get rid of Stephen Taylor, who was our contract, and he moved on. Thank heavens. And we did get rid of Colaccini, who was pretty much finished and had to be taken off that captain's armband. He's gone back to Argentina. So we have bought trying to buy new. Defenders. We've still got Daryl Yanmat, 
it was good going forward, but I don't think it defend properly a lot of the time. As I said in the midfield, we did bring in Matt Ritchie and Diame as well. So hopefully how we can see. We have got rid of Jorginho Wijnaldum, which I wasn't bothered about because he disappeared from the second half of the season and only turned up at home games a lot of the time. <clears throat> but we've still got Musa Sissoko, that ungrateful prick who didn't even want to play last, who didn't even play last season, and then played well in the Euro 2016. And all he's talk about is just trying to get away from Newcastle. Well, you sunshine. If you think you're good enough for the Premier League, you should prove yourself. Or, to be honest, I'll actually not be bothered if he goes. Uh, that ungrateful prick he has turned out to be, I think, at the moment. The one. But, and we've also still got Yuan Gufran as well. I thought he would have been away as well, but he's not. The one I'm disappointed that left was Andros Townsend who I thought said he wanted to stay when Benitez stayed on as manager of the club. But then he heard he come out and said, I want more Premier League, I want to play in the Premier League more. Well, what the thing is, like, do you want to, what, do you not think you could have done this? You could have stayed with us and helped us get back into the Premier League, or because you have gone to a club in Aston Villa, who could be in a relegation battle next season. Consistently, it's Alan Pardew. Alan Pardew does have the good odd run and then he's, it does go the other times as well, so who else did we get rid of? We got rid of Papi Cissé, thank god, oh, he had to be taken off that number 9 and it's been given to Dwight Gale, who I think could have a really good chance, as I said I thought Mirovic would have been the better option, but a lot of people are giving it to Dwight Gale, who said can give you goals and he has scored a couple in pre-season as well. I'm pretty happy about it as well so. <laughs> so but we have kept Perez we have kept Mitrovic as well which is good shame Mitrovic will be banned for four games so hopefully will he go with Gale and Perez up top together will he give Rolando Aarons a chance more a start lineup more considering we are in the championship who could be one of the good players who could develop in the championship for a very young lad as a winger Matt Ritchie competing as well. Who do you expect to be? We're two to our central midfielders. We've, as I said, we did bring in the army, but we've still got Shelby. We've still got Teori. We've still got Nineen, and we've still got Callback. It's going to be tough. Who's going to fight for that centre midfield place? I think. But and um, so let's just hope. The new players we've brought can come in and do well. Also, Tovan has gone back to Marseille on loan again. I thought Benitez, I thought Benitez would have given him a bit more chance because he did struggle in his first season. Was that because he was playing for a shite manager and Steve McLaren? I don't know. But let's just hope we can kick off the season good tomorrow. Down at Fulham. We have Fulham have been known to be a bogey team for us when we played them in the Premier League. We have been able to get defeats down at Craven Cottage when we were in the Premier League, but hopefully, because Fulham have been struggling a lot and when they got into the Championship from the Premier League, and now they've sold a couple of their best players, let's just hope we can take advantage of that and turn up, because our waveform has been shocking lately, we've got to do it, we've got to, we, there's a lot of teams out there who we should be beating at least well, especially at home as well, that is the main thing, is to win the home games, we should be winning. But as I said, let's just hope we can kick off a great start in the Championship tomorrow and get us back into the Premier League where we belong. Hopefully the players, as I said, we've bought, can give us quality for the Championship. As funny how people have dropped down a league lower just to play for us, a lot of them have said they would not want to work for Rafa Benitez because Rafa Benitez is one of the greatest managers in the world and he, he stayed on with us thinking it was the fans that wanted me to stay on which we did we were begging him to stay against Spurs on the final game of the season when we were already relegated from the Premier League 
I'm just glad, and I'm just happy Benitez stayed with us. And he gets full control of transfers now. Not Graham Carr anymore. I don't know what he was thinking about. He was probably dipping into the French leagues a lot of the time where it was just not working. Where we bought players like Cabela, Torvan, Saivet, Gufran, Suzoko, well, who has good time but didn't play last season. And he's just talking about getting away from the club as well. Consider he said he wants to join the beautiful Arsenal. Well, I don't think you're going to go to Arsenal now, mate. I don't think he would want you. Really. A lot who would want a team Musa Sissoko on? Since he didn't even play last season. Meaning he just didn't perform on the pitch at all. And he did have a... He did. And how he had a great Euro 2016. I do not know at all. Will he be in the squad tomorrow? We'll have to see and find out. But as I said, hopefully Newcastle can kick off the championship to a great start. And I'm going to predict Newcastle will beat Fulham tomorrow by three goals to one. Or if it doesn't happen, any other win will do for me. As long as it's three points to kick us off the championship. I hope you've enjoyed. It's glad to be back after a while. Subscribe for more videos. I'd appreciate it and I'll send you a subscribe back. Uh, all my social links can go in the description. Feel free to... Uh, Get in touch with me on there as well. Like, follow, whatever. And I will see you all later. Take care. Come on the tune. Let's get off to a win start tomorrow. Come on, lads.